Hello there. Okay, so this is about the time of day I'm, I'm vlogging right now when the male man, male lady comes. So if you hear a dog going ape crazy, <laughs> it's real. That's my dog going nuts. Um, anyway, so what I want to talk about today is why I chose Brightline Eating. Um, because some people who know me in real life, in real life have seen me at WW lately and I'm still logging WW. I'm still weighing in at WW. Um, mainly my dad is the reason for that. He needs to go to WW uh, and it's working really well for him. But it, after three months, it wasn't, something was wrong. Uh, I wasn't able to stick to it. When I did stick to it, I wasn't seeing success. It just, it took me three or four months to lose the same amount of weight that I lost in three weeks with bright line eating. So at any rate, um, I wasn't doing well on WW. Uh, not that it wouldn't work for someone else, but and it has worked for me in the past. I love the support. I love my leader. I love the general idea about it. But WW uh, wasn't, I don't know, just wasn't, I wasn't good at it all of a sudden. <laughs> I've been on every plan though. So I, I have done Adkins and I'm going to tell you a little bit, every plan I'm going to tell you I've had success with until I didn't. Um, Adkins loved it, especially 20 years ago when I was younger. But as a old woman, I eat too much cheese. I'm a cheese whore. <laughs> At any rate, it wasn't Adkins. If you eat, I was eating too much. Anyways, that was my problem lately with Adkins. Uh, same with keto. Just math with keto. Uh, and I'm I just a fat bomb. I I, just, I don't know. For me, a fat bomb just didn't seem like the road to success. Um, I really like paleo eating, but again, I, I was, I achieved a certain level of health, but not exactly the right size body that I was looking for, for me, my right size, not your right size, not her right size, not her right size, my right size. Okay. All right. So I needed something different. And the way I found bright line eating, this is a person, you're looking at a person who knows every style of eating. And I'd never heard of bright line eating. And it popped up in my Amazon suggestions because I had read, I'd recently read a really, really pretty good and in-depth book about binge eating and um, what, what kind of brain, what happens to your brain if you binge eat, which I have done and have, uh, I would say I have a lot of characteristics of a disordered eater. I've written read a lot of intermittent fasting books. I, if you're going to do that, I do recommend delay, don't deny, but even delay, don't deny wasn't working for me because I couldn't adjust the amounts in my eating window to something that was, um, reasonable. I couldn't be reasonable. Um, so the way that bright line eating after I saw it, I obviously I bought it, I read it and it speaks to me the way I'm thinking today, right now. And that is that I have some recovery to do. I have done all this crazy eating. I have had too much sugar, too much flour, too many diets, too much quantity. And I needed to rein all of that in and have something that was calm. I think that part of being calm and balanced is getting sugar out of my life. Part of getting calm and balanced is getting flour out of my life. Um, for now, I, I don't I don't make any kind of uh, predictions for the future, and that is part of it. I looked at this pretty drastic way of eating: no flour, no sugar, no pop, three times a day, and that's it. And it's weighed, and it's everything is really tightly controlled. And I thought, is this something I can do forever? Is it a lifestyle? And I realized, who cares if it's not? Just do it one day. And that's how I started. And that is actually very much kind of the way that you are supposed to think about addiction, you know, one day at a time. And that's what this is right now. So currently I think of it as um, I've got some recovering to do when it comes to eating in a way that is not um, out of control and not out of balance. So that's the way bright line eating, uh, that's the philosophy, the thought about food is that it should be nutrition, you know, nutri nutritional, you should get your nutrients from it. Um, but it shouldn't be something that you are so, uh, into it's, it's, 
anything that you treat like an obsession, like, oh, this thing, I have to have this thing. I'm going to drive different places to get this thing. I'm going to ignore all my goals to make this thing happen. Anything like that is um, maybe something you should try not having for a day or two and see what happens. So bright line eating is that has that. Plus it also kind of, like I said, no sugar, no flour, no pop. And those were things that I just knew I needed to get reined in. So that's how I came to Brightline eating. Also, I'm so I had my one day and it worked out and my second day and it worked out. Um, and now I'm, you know, a good three weeks into it. So I'm no expert. I'm not the expert on Brightline eating, but because I've had some early success, I feel motivated to just do another day. So if anybody out there is looking at my eating plan and thinking, well, that's too hard. Okay, eat, you do you, I like I say. But for me, right now, bright line eating handled, checked all the boxes, handled the emotional component and handled the actual physical things that I think happen when I have certain foods. So it works, that's why.